Hi there mga Jumega! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, uh, ngayon, nakarating na naman tayo sa isang video natin for today. I'm really sorry for the delay for the upload dahil medyo busy lang in the past few days and something happened. And if you are um, following on my, what you call this, if you're following on my Facebook or pag friends sa Facebook, I know that you know what happened. But ayan, um, just forget about the past tayo ngayon. So, um, minisip kasi akong bagong idea natin today dahil I'm so sorry kung maingay guys dahil once again nasa gilid tayo ng daan. So, ayan. Um, kanina, when I'm thinking kung ano yung mga possible na itapik natin dahil sobrang hirap mag-isip ng content. I know that this is one of the struggle ng mga vlogger dahil sobrang hirap mag-isip ng content especially if wala kang pera dahil mahirap maging travel vlogger then as well dahil kailangan mo rin magkaroon ng too much time and as well as maghihirap ka financially if ever hindi stable I mean if ever hindi ka stable financially so ayan so kanina when I'm browsing my Facebook um, news feeds I saw a lot of um, post regarding kung bakit hindi sila nakakapasa sa mga interview sa pinapasukan nilang trabaho and yun, um, yung magiging topic natin today is I just wanted to share my thoughts on how I pass on all of the interviews from the previous company that I applied for and kung ano yung mga dapat natin gawin so ayan, um, sa ngayon naglista po ako dito ng um, 7 tips on how to pass the interview when you're trying to apply in any other company, especially in a BPO company. Dahil, um, if you're not aware guys, I'm from a BPO company. Uh, I'm not really good in speaking in English that time, but yan, um, makakapag-learn ka po talaga guys when uh, you're working. So, part ng pagtatrabaho is yung learning mo as well. So, ayan. So, ipe-prepare ko lang po dito lahat yung mga um, i-discuss natin, then I'll get back to you. So, just before we start, is what you can see, medyo fresh na tayo ngayon dahil medyo nag-retouch tayo just before um, i-shoot tong video na to. So, ayan. Um, before we start, I just wanted to flex, by the way, yung bagong contact lens na nabili ko kanina with the same um, seller. Ayan siya. So, ayan. Gray siya, guys. And medyo may um, yellow siya sa pinakagitna. So, ayan. I'm really, really happy dahil nadagdag na naman siya sa collection natin. So, ayan. Um, anyways, alam niyo naman kung saan niyo siya bibilhin. And, um, itatag ko na lang din siya sa Facebook account ko. If ever, um, may gustong mag-order, itatag na lang natin siya sa Facebook account natin. And don't forget, by the way, to add me on my Facebook account, which is ilalagay ko dito. Ayan, Nicolo Dion, Nicolo Space Dion. And as well as, um, my Facebook page, which is, um, Nickelodeon TV. Same sa YouTube channel natin. So, ayan. Please i-follow nyo ako dun, guys. And as well as ilalagay ko rin dito, sa any dito sa screen, yung Instagram account ko which is Nickelodeon27. So, ayan. Um, sa ngayon is i-discuss natin kung uh, i-discuss ko, by the way, yung mga tips on how to pass the interview. Especially when you're trying to apply in a BPO industry. Since dun ako galing, so most probably, yung mga idea na mabibigay ko is yung mga uh, naranasan ko while I'm applying on that particular company or kung sa anumang company na mga in-applyan ko. And I just wanted to let you know guys that you should be prepared for those um, rejections na matatanggap nyo dahil of course, hindi naman kaagad ma-hire kayo. So, kailangan ready po kayo sa mga possible na mga rejections if ever you're not that really good. Especially for those newbie guys, sobrang hirap actually mag-apply. Especially if hindi kayo college level or hindi kayo nakatungtong ng college or at least 72 units. So, sobrang hirap mag-apply. But palakasan ng loob, especially sa BPO company, um, confident confident na lang yung labanan at lakasan na lang ng loob and as well as kailangan din nating mag-pray just before um, 
mag-apply tayo or just before the interview kailangan nating mag-pray of course you should do your best and God will do the rest so ayan kaya nga nang sinasabi ng iba so yan um I have here my list, ayan, dahil, of course, baka makalimutan ko yung iba. Actually, seven lang po itong naisip ko, and I'm so sorry if ever may maskip ako. Just comment down below para at least alam ng iba kung ano yung mga tips nyo on how to pass the interview. So, ayan, yung first sa list natin is when you're trying to apply in a BPO industry, you need to know how to speak English. Not really na sobrang galing mong mag-speak ng English to the point na sobrang fluent or you have an accent. But at least, just make sure that you know how to speak conversational English. Like this one, like normal conversational English. Because uh, there are some companies that they don't really need you to speak English like super fluent or what. Like you, like, like you have this Australian accent or British accent. So, ayan. On this uh, type of tips... Just make sure na marunong ka magsalita ng English. Ayan, yung wala ka masyadong fillers like ums and eh, which is, um, ganun pa rin ako until now. However, um, sobrang hirap talaga siyang walain if ever nasanay ka ng may mga a and eh. But yeah, just make sure na marunong ka mag-speak ng English dahil yun yung isa sa pinaka-needed or isa sa mga, um, top requirements when you're trying to apply in a BPO industry and any other company especially if uh, mga professional um, po kayo like mga teachers or what or whatsoever like sa mga malalaking company they're doing the English conversation during the interview so ayan just make sure na marunong po kayo mag speak ng English not really sure na ay not really na sobrang galing ka like you have your British accent, a British accent or what. So, ayan, just make sure na marunong kayo at least conversational English. And I know that especially like me, we're from Negros Occidental. So, some of us, like, we have this Bisaya accent. So, ayan, yun yung isa sa um, wawalain natin guys dahil um, medyo pangit um, pakinggan if you have like um, Bisaya accent when you're trying to apply in a BPO industry. So, um, at least, marunong tayo magsalita ng conversational English. Um, medyo konti lang dapat yung mga um, putol-putol natin sa pagsasalita. So, ayan. Yun yung mga dapat nating tandaan unang-una. So, ayan guys. Yung next na nalista ko po dito is highlight your strength more than your weaknesses. Ayan. Ito kasi yung mostly talaga na uh, panlaban sa mga interview like hindi kasi nawawala talaga yung question na what are your strength and weaknesses kasi dati when they uh, try to ask me that question my answer is my strength is that I am capable to work under pressure I know how to handle um, how to handle my schedule or whatsoever yun yung mga sinagot ko and hindi ako masyadong nag-highlight when it comes to the weaknesses which is yung sinabi ko is um, sometimes uh, due to um, the very um, hectic schedule I come to work very late so yun yung sinagot ko however um, dinugtungan ko siya ng um, even though I have that kind of attitude I know that I can change that one since um, that kind of attitude is changeable. So, um, pwede nyo sabihin na pwede nyo ma-minimize yung ganong um, ugali nyo or pwede nyo siyang walain um, just for them to give you a chance for you to pass on that particular company. So, ayan. Um, just make sure na if ever you have some strength, which is I'm really, really good in speaking in English or whatsoever, yun yung i-highlight nyo. Huwag kayong masyadong mag-highlight when it comes to the weaknesses. And if ever, maglagay kayo ng weaknesses nyo, which is dapat maglagay po talaga kayo during the interview dahil magmumukha kang boastful pag wala kang weaknesses, just make sure na lalagyan mo siya ng... Um, supporting details or supporting ideas na medyo makakapag-minimize dun sa weaknesses mo or pwede mong sabihin na mababago mo yung ganong ugali gaya ng ginawa ko during the interview. So, ayan. Yun yung mga tatandaan natin. Ayan guys, for number 3 sa list natin, actually, um, this is very common when you're trying to apply in uh, BPO industry. So, Yung third sa list natin is ramping. Of course, we need to make sure now when we're trying to apply 
in a BPO company, we should make sure na dapat ramping. Ramping means nag-hire sila ng large volume of applicants na most probably or 75 to 95 percent makakapasa, makakapasa ka dahil um, sobrang dami ng mga applicants na need nila. Just because there are some companies na nag ng mga seasonal accounts. So, yung seasonal accounts is uh, most commonly um, 3 months lang siya. So, sobrang dami ng kailangan nilang applicants na um, pwedeng pumasok sa ganung account. So, just make sure na pag nag-apply ka, ramping. Dahil yung nangyari sa akin dati, um, sobrang daming rejections na natatanggap ko when I'm trying to apply in, uh, on, I mean, all of the companies in Bacolod. Sobrang nahirapan po akong nag-apply dahil nung time na yon hindi siya ramping. So, um, nagbabaka sakali lang ako sa... Um, each company if ever meron siyang bukas. So, on that time, sa buong months, hindi po talaga ako nakapasok sa trabaho or hindi talaga ako natanggap sa any trabaho sa BPO dahil hindi pa ramping that time. So, we need to make sure na pag nag apply tayo, kailangan muna natin i-check online if still hiring sila ng maraming applicants dahil uh, mas malaki yung chance na makakapasa tayo dahil um, even though we're not that really good in speaking in, in English or we doesn't have a lot or we doesn't have enough knowledge uh, in a BPO industry, sometimes they're giving us a chance um, dahil most probably makakapag-learn naman tayo sa training. And once again, based on my experience guys, um, sobrang konti lang talaga ng mga learn ko sa training. Just make sure na dapat makapasalan talaga kayo sa pinaka one man training nila dahil yung um, mas, malam, mas maraming learnings is pag nasa production floor na kayo. So, ayan. Uh, once again, just make sure na pag nag apply po kayo sa BPO industry or any other company, just make sure na ramping sila. So, once again, ramping means um, they're hiring a large volume of applicants. So, ayan. Ayan guys, so yung number 4 sa list natin guys, ito yung most commonly talaga na tinatanong or hindi talaga nawawala during interview, which is, tell me something about yourself. For that particular question guys, when um, they're gonna ask you, tell me something about yourself, it doesn't really mean that you're gonna tell them kung ano yung mga nakasulat sa resume mo. Like, for example, inilagay mo doon na you graduated from that particular school and on that particular school, you have this kind of activities na nagawa. Like, I was a vice president on that particular school. Huwag nyo na po yung sasabihin dahil ate, nakalagay na po sa resume mo. So, pwede kayo doon mag-skip. Pwede kayo mag-focus sa mga strength nyo. Like, uh, mga hobbies nyo or whatsoever. Like, I'm really good in basketball, which is every every weekend, me and my dad are actually playing basketball or what charla charla lang guys. So, minsan, so tell me something about yourself. It doesn't really me. It doesn't really need na honest yung isasagot nyo. Just make sure na kapanipaniwala lang yung mga sasabihin nyo. Especially, um, gaya ng ginawa ko when they're trying to ask me that particular question, yung sinagot ko is that, I am actually fond of writing. In fact, I was a Wattpad writer before. I'm not really famous on Wattpad industry when I'm trying to, you know, write that particular story. However, since I'm actually fond of writing um, stories, it gives me an idea in my life or chorla chorla or whatsoever na gusto mong sabihin. So, ayan. Um, pwede kayo mag-focus sa mga strength nyo which is magaling kang mag-basketball magaling kang mag-volleyball you're into sports, you're into gardening you're into what or um, pwede nyo i-add na you graduated as an honor student dahil um, nakakadagdag din po yun sa um, pampaganda ng impressions uh, para sa nag interview sa iyo. So, ayan just make sure guys na Pag tinanong kayo ng ganong question ulit, just make sure na wag yung sasagutin yung tanong na yon ng mga nakalagay na sa resume nyo. Dahil, um, kung ako yung nakikinig, for example, ako yung nag interview tapos sinagot mo ako kung ano yung mga nasa resume mo, magsasound siya na boring. Dahil, of course, nababasa ko rin naman. So, bakit mo sasabihin sa akin yung mga bagay na nababasa ko? So, magsabi kayo ng mga wala sa resume nyo. So, yun na po yung tatandaan nyo. Ayun guys, so yung next list natin is dress accordingly. On this part naman guys, it doesn't really need na dapat kailangan mag ka or for the girls kailangan sobrang formal ng attire mo like you have coat or something. But kung meron kayo nun guys, advisable siya na isuot nyo dahil I do believe that first impressions always last, alright? 
for those naman na walang mga ganong damit or mga walang ganong um, pwedeng isuot, um, just make sure na formal po yung isusuot natin or business casual. Like, naka long sleeve or naka polo para sa lalaki and then naka jeans. Then, naka sapatos of course dahil sobrang pangit or I don't think na pwede kang mag-apply na naka chinelas. Ayan. So, just make sure na naka sapatos ka kahit hindi bago. As long as yung mga available sapatos mo is dapat mo siyang suotin. And for the girls naman, just make sure na ganun din. If ever hindi ka nakadress, and then wala kang coat or what, just make sure na naka-jeans ka and at least um, formal yung sa taas mo na nakasuot. Hindi pwede yung sleeveless, hindi pwede yung magsando guys. Oh my God, hindi siya pwede sa ibang company or sa any other company na ganun yung susuotin mo when you're trying to apply. So, yun. Dapat, pag nag apply ka, you need to look formal because gaya nga na sinabi ko kanina, first impressions always la. So, ayan, just make sure na Maayos yung isinusuot natin, malinis tayo pag uh, i-interviewin tayo, especially during final interview dahil yung mga nakakaharap natin is yung mga nasa higher position. Unlike sa initial interview lang, most commonly kasi pag initial interview, yung taga HR yung kaharap mo. But just make sure pa rin na dapat um, malinis kang tingnan, maayos yung mga damit na isinusuot mo. So, ayan. Ayan guys, so yung next sa list natin for the number 6, which is ito talaga yung pinaka-importante sa lahat na dadalhin nyo pag nag apply kayo ng trabaho is yung be confident. Ayan. Marami kasing mga nag apply even though um, pasok sila sa qualification or let's say magaling sila sa pagsasalita ng English, then pasok na pasok yung qualification nila, especially sa um, school degree. Um, Kung hindi ka confident guys during the interview, uh, mawawala lahat ng yon. So, when you're applying in a job, just make sure na during the interview, you need to be confident. Dahil pag sobrang confident ka, even though hindi ka magaling magsalita, nadadala na lang yun minsan guys ng confident nyo. So, just make sure na pag nag apply kayo, kailangan confident po kayo guys. Um... I do understand na during interview, hindi mawawala yung kaba. However, pag nakapagsalita ka na guys, or pag nasagot mo na yung first na question sa sa'yo, just make sure na maging confident ka na dahil nasagot mo na yung unang talong. Dahil pag hindi ka confident guys, mawawala ka talaga, uh, ano tawag doon? Um, mawawala ka sa focus pag hindi ka confident dahil iisipin mo, I mean, na wala kang confident dahil iisipin mo na, uh, yung kaba mo, yung possible rejection. So, wag mo munang isipin lahat ng yun, guys. Pag nag apply kayo or pag sumasagot kayo ng interview, just make sure na just to answer the question honestly and confidently. So, ayan, guys, for the last one, which is, this is um, super, super duper important talaga, guys. Before po kayo sumabak sa any other interview or kung anumang interview yung papasukin nyo or pag nag apply kayo, just make sure and don't forget na mag-pray po muna kayo guys dahil gaya nga nang sinabi ko kanina, um, just do your best and God will do the rest. So, ayan, just make sure na nakapag-pray po tayo. Um, na tulungan tayo ni Lord sa pag apply natin or bigyan tayo ng um, tamang kaalaman para masagot natin lahat ng mga possible questions during the interview. And, ayan, um, wag na wag natin kakalimutang mag-pray dahil minsan um, tinutuluan talaga tayo ni Lord or sinasagot niya lahat ng mga prayers natin. And siya yung tutulong talaga sa atin during the interview. And, yun, gaya nga na sinabi ko kanina, um, you should do your best and God will do the rest. Ayan guys, so sa ngayon natapos na natin yung 7 tips on how to pass the interview when you're trying to apply in any other company, especially in a BPO industry. So ayan guys, if ever meron ako mga nakalimutan or if ever meron kayong gustong idagdag dun sa mga sinabi ko kanina, um... I know that meron din kayong kanya-kanyang tips kung paano kayo nakapasa sa ganung industry or sa current trabaho nyo. So, ayan. Um, ilagay nyo lang sa comment below para at least alam din ng iba or makakuha din ng idea yung iba kung paano sila makakapasa ng interview. Dahil yung mga sinabi ko kanina guys, yun yung mga ginawa ko or yun yung mga sinunod ko na steps. Um, actually, yun yung steps ko talaga na sinulat dati when I'm applying to apply. So, yun. Kailangan yung isulat or kailangan nyo lang alalahanin yung mga steps na yun. 
yun. So, yun yung ginawa ko dati. And, yun yung nakatulong talaga sa akin nung nag apply ako. So, ayan. Kung meron po kayong gustong idagdag, just comment down below para at least aware yung iba. And, para at least nakatulong din po kayo sa mga nag apply Dahil sa ngayon, I know na sobrang daming nag apply Especially sa mga call center. Dahil, um, if you're not aware guys, call center is one of the top paying uh, industry dito sa Pilipinas. So, ayan. Yung kasunod kasi ng mga trabaho nun, especially pag hindi tayo nakagraduate or if ever wala tayong mga degree or whatsoever, yung mga napapasukan nating trabaho is yung mga nasa minimum wage lang. For example, sa SM or sa Gaisano City as a sales lady or uh, salesman or let's say promodizer or what. So, yun guys. Um, yun yung mga kasunod lang kasi talaga na trabaho uh, pag hindi ka nakapasok sa call center. And that was based on my experience. However, Kung nakapag-graduate naman kayo or you have your, uh, you have your, uh, I mean, you're a degree holder. So, most probably, makakapasok talaga kayo dun sa mga uh, office job. So, yun yung mga mabibilis talagang apply yan. So, ayun. Kung gusto nyo po talaga, guys, na makapasok kayo sa mga ganung trabaho, just make sure na makagraduate po talaga kayo. Dahil, yan, based sa experience ko, I'm just a senior high graduate. So, after my senior high school, I decided to work na. So, yan. Um, yung napasukan kong trabaho is call center. However, um, before call center, sobrang dami ko rin napasukan trabaho and hindi ka agad ako natanggap sa call center. So, marami akong pinasukan trabaho. Like, naging promodizer din ako, naging nagtrabaho din ako sa SM and as well as um, nakapagtrabaho din ako kay Globe as yun, nagbebenta ng mga plan or whatsoever and sobrang hirap guys. And try to imagine, pag dito po kayo nakatira sa Negros, uh, ang minimum wage po dito is nasa 365 to 380. Ilagay na natin na ganun. So, magbabayad pa kayo sa lahat ng bills nyo and as well as benefits. So, sobrang kulang talaga. So, kung gusto nyo po talaga makapasok sa mga office job like call center or any BPO industry, just make sure na handa po kayo para at least if ever there is a rejection, alam nyo kung ano yung mga um, dapat nyo pang gawin. So, ayan. Um, if nagustuhan nyo po itong video na to, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para at least magkita-kita pa tayo sa next na video ko. So, ayan. Thank you so much mga Jomega and see you soon.